For the second day of our weaving, we're gonna take a piece of paper. I'm using a black piece of paper to show contrast and fold it in half. You're going to take some scissors and cut any way that you want. This is gonna create different wavy lines in your weaving. Make sure you don't cut all the way to the edge. Leave about an inch space from the edge of your paper and cut lines all the way down across your paper from the fold. Now that you have your other paper cut, you're going to take your analogous color organic paper. You're going to make sure it's horizontal and you're going to cut the paper into strips, making sure that you line the strips up in the same way that the paper was created in. So it creates the original picture when you weave the pieces together. Now that I'm done cutting out each strip, I'm going to start by weaving. We're going to start over the first piece and go under the next piece, over the third, under the fourth, over the fifth, and under the sixth. Make sure that you place your paper all the way at the edge. Now this is a pattern, so the next one's going to go the opposite, so it's under to start and then over the next section, then under, then over, then under, and then over. And you wanna make sure that your paper is right next to each other, so make sure that they are tight next to each other. So tap them over to the edge. Line them up so that they go along the same width as the other paper. Now this one is going to start over because it's a pattern. So we did over and then under and now we're doing over again. Over, under, over, under. So it's creating a pattern to create the weaving and that keeps the paper together. And we're going to continue that pattern, making sure that all of our pieces are tightly next to each other so that there's no gaps. Now I'm done with my weaving. I have some extra pieces left over, but we, before we use those pieces, we need to glue down our strips of paper so that our weaving stays together. So I'm gonna start on the front side. I'm putting a little dot of glue on each piece that is sticking up. Just one little dot of glue, making sure it holds it in place. So each little area that we started over the paper needs to be glued down and that will keep our weaving together. Once we're done with the front, we need to do the same thing on the back. So each piece that we started under needs to have the little part of the starting point glued down.
Now that I've glued everything down, I'm going to add some fringe using those extra pieces that I have. I'm gonna place one at the top and one at the bottom. I wanna make sure that I don't cut all the way across, so I'm gonna fold my paper in half and cut to that middle line. It's easier if you cut out little triangles. I started with straight lines, but later on went back to create little tiny triangles for the fringe so that you can see the individual pieces of paper rather than having them really close together. And you'll see in a second how I do that. But cutting to that center fold so that we can use that top piece to glue on the underside of our paper. Add little dots of glue to the piece of paper that you didn't cut and place under your paper and press down. So here on this piece, you can see that I'm cutting and then I'm cutting a little extra piece like a triangle and that's going to make that fringe really stand out and really pop. So it looks more like fringe than just a strip of paper glued to the edge of our paper. Here we have our finished paper weaving. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I can't wait to see your final products. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.